Berry has close ties with Fusilier Lee Rigby's regiment, which has its roots here. So this is a difficult time for the people of this town as they prepare to give one of their own a fitting farewell here at Berry Parish Church. As Fusilier Lee Rigby's cortege moved slowly along the streets of Berry, soldiers from his regiment, 2nd Battalion Royal Regiment of Fusiliers, lined the route. Just behind them, hundreds of mourners crowded the pavements, members of the public who wanted to show their support and pay their respects. They watched as the cortege was escorted along its route by regimental drummers. This was a procession with full military honours. Fusilier Rigby's coffin was draped with the Union flag, his bare skin sitting proudly on top. But it was also a deeply personal occasion for his family. Flowers spelt out the words husband and son. At Berry Parish Church, the flag was flying at half-mast. The pain of bereavement on the faces of Fusilier Rigby's loved ones was hard to see as his coffin was slowly carried inside for a private service. A ceremony which befits a man who died in the most horrific of circumstances. On the 22nd of May, Fusilier Rigby was returning home to his barracks in Woolwich when he was suddenly attacked by two men. They ran him down with their car before killing him in the street. It was the first time a British soldier had been killed by Islamic extremists on UK soil. In the days that followed, a garden of flowers grew outside Woolwich Barracks and at the scene of the murder, representing the sorrow and support of a nation determined to show they would not be cowed by terror. Two men have been charged with Fusilier Rigby's murder. Fusilier Rigby's coffin will remain inside the church overnight, attended by an honour guard of Fusiliers. His funeral, a private service, will take place in the morning. Charlotte Cross, Forces News, Berry.